blueberry. So we've been doing a lot of videos about coronavirus and or COVID-19 and how to disinfect different surfaces. And we're talking now about the inside of your car and how to help minimize the spread of COVID-19 or just to avoid getting sick. As you know, we all spend a ton of time in the car or uh, at least we used to. It's not a bad idea to do a deep clean every three to six months anyway, but we need to take extra steps now to prevent this coronavirus. Later in this video, I'll talk about a survey about the very worst spots in your car, and I'll show you just how germy the inside of our cars are. But now we have the extra threat of this virus to address. Diana isn't in this video because we're social distancing, but being a germaphobe, this video is really gonna freak her out. In this video, I consulted CDC guidelines as well as information from the EPA and the World Health Organization. So we really wanted to stick with official sources and not our opinion on this. There are several different surfaces inside your car, so unfortunately you can't just douse the entire thing with bleach and call it good. I wish. Because while it sounds great, it will do more than disinfect, it'll destroy the inside of your car. We definitely don't want to do that. And the viruses can live on surfaces for up to three days, so we've got to reduce our possible exposure. Here are the six topics I'll cover in this video. The first thing is to understand what the virus is and a little bit about how it's transmitted. Second, I'll go over the six places in your car that you need to focus on when you're cleaning your car. Third, the difference between cleaning versus sanitizing versus disinfecting. That's a super important concept that you need to understand. Number four, know the difference between what's a porous surface versus the non-porous material within the interior of your car because it will make a big difference on how you clean it. Number five, now that you know the different surfaces, you need to know how long to leave the product on those surfaces. Six, we'll talk about prevention, which I like best of all. So I'll go over the steps that you can take every day or the best practices you should adopt so that you don't bring more germs into your car that you just clean. Okay, first, what is COVID-19 or coronavirus? I think most of you know, so I'm just gonna go over a little bit, but it's a large family of viruses that already existed in the world. It even leads to the common cold but this is a new version of the virus. And if you read the back of a lot of common household cleaners, it's even gonna mention coronavirus. But coronavirus or COVID-19 is a disease that's a new strain of coronavirus. It was discovered in 2019 and it had previously not been identified in humans. And since it's new, we don't have immunity to it and it's spread quickly. So the point is, now it's a worldwide pandemic and it's had such a big effect on our lives. We need to do what we can to not contract it or spread it. Now the best way to avoid getting coronavirus is so simple and I think you've heard it a million times and it's wash your hands for 20 seconds. Or if you're in your car and you can't wash your hands, use hand sanitizer with at least 60% alcohol. We'll put a link to our favorite hand sanitizer from Puracy in the video description. They sell it by the bottle or even by the gallon. We always have these wipes tucked right here and before we eat or before getting back into the car, we wipe off our hands. According to the CDC, the virus spreads between close contact with people and through respiratory droplets produced when an infected person coughs or sneezes. Now the interior of your car is a hot spot for these droplets because it's a very confined area and you touch a lot of surfaces when you drive. So because we know that the coronavirus can live on surfaces for days, we first need to clean visibly dirty surfaces followed by disinfecting it. Now how germy is the inside of your car anyway? Well, it's a lot worse than you think. CarRentals.com wanted to find out how germy our cars actually are, so they surveyed 1,000 drivers to see how often people actually vacuum and sanitize the inside of their vehicles. And the findings aren't pretty. Almost half of us don't even clean out our car very often at all. A shocking 30% of us only do it like once a year. And 12% said that they never even clean the inside of their car. I think one of those is my brother. So I wanna know, how often do you clean the inside of your car? Leave a comment and let us know. And there's no shame in our informal poll. But if you're watching this video, it means that you wanna do your best. Now there are roughly 700 different strains of bacteria living in the average vehicle. What's the main culprit for bacteria in your car? Food. You know all that takeout you're getting and you're eating inside your car when after all the restaurants closed? Yeah, I know most of us are handing back the Happy Meals to our kids in the back seat. While the french fries your kids drop in between the seats or that milk that leaks out of the baby's bottle, creates a breeding ground for bacteria. Now the most dirty part of your car, which is your steering wheel. It's six times dirtier than the average cell phone screen, which we know are pretty dirty, four times dirtier than a public toilet seat, and two times dirtier than the public elevator buttons that you push. Even if you're way ahead of most people and you disinfect these areas, you can forget about another possible way to get germs, and that's the gas pump. That same pump handle that thousands of other hands have touched 
can transfer germs to your hands and then everything you touch inside your car. Now cars are an enclosed space, which means bacteria can grow and spread rather quickly. And here are the six areas in your car that typically have the most bacteria. As we talked about the steering wheel, the cup holder, your seat belt, you touch that all the time. The inside door handle, but you can also do the outside one. The gear shift knob, and the buttons for your radio. Think about how often you touch those places, but you're also gonna to wanna to make sure to take care to clean places like the backs of your seats, where your kids or passengers may sneeze, your dashboard, and more. Now, the CDC recommends cleaning these frequently touched surfaces first, and then dis disinfecting with five tablespoons of bleach per gallon of water. But this isn't the same as cleaning your house. If you use bleach inside your car, you're likely to discolor or damage the interior. So how do you do this without completely destroying the inside of your car? To minimize risk, you need to understand the difference between cleaning, sanitizing, and disinfecting. I like to use a cleaning pyramid, kind of like the food pyramid of cleaning. For cleaning, the purpose is to get rid of dirt, grime, marks, and other things. Sanitizing is to reduce contamination or reduce the number of germs and disinfecting is to kill all germs. We know that soap and water can take out the coronavirus, so that works for cleaning. Now, it doesn't necessarily kill the germs, but you remove some of them, and that means there are less germs, which lowers the risk of spreading infection. Now, sanitizer actually lowers a number of germs on surfaces or objects to a safe level as judged by public health standards or requirements. So you see claims on bottles that say, Bleach kills 99.9% .9 of bacteria and viruses, and that's how you know that is a sanitizing product. Now disinfecting is a little different. It kills the germs on surfaces of objects. Disinfecting works by using chemicals to kill those germs on surfaces. We will post a link to the list of EPA recommended cleaners in the video description. What I like about this list is it also lists how long you need to leave a cleaner on for it to, in order for it to work. Or you can find that information listed on the product label. I'm gonna use the Force of Nature, which we totally love. We have a review of it. One of the main ingredients in Force of Nature is hydrochlorous acid and that disinfects and sanitizes, and it's so gentle and effective that it's commonly used in wound healing products and as a hospital sanitizer and disinfectant. Now you can make your own wipes out of Force of Nature. I have a video about how to do that with bleach, but you can just substitute Force of Nature and that will make the cleaning process way easier. And also my favorite microfiber cloths, which are from Mr. Sega. I have one for cleaning and one for drying. Or you can use something else to sanitize and disinfect, and that's our favorite cleaning machine, a steam cleaner. Okay, now I'm gonna clean the inside with the steam cleaner. It all has this wonderful feature. So you turn it on, and you can put this button right there. And look, you don't have to hold down the button anymore. So just go all those controllers. Okay, now we're Okay, prevention. Now at this point, we've cleaned and disinfected the interior of our car to the best of our ability. And what are some of the other things we can do or best practices as we're walking around in our normal everyday life to avoid getting germs back and bacteria back into the car we've just cleaned? Well, one is always wash your hands with soap and water for at least 20 seconds before you touch your steering wheel or drive the car. If possible, keep a small bottle of hand sanitizer with you with at least 60% alcohol for quick cleanups or when you can't wash your hands with soap and water. Now I like to have some wipes or hand sanitizer and even a mask and gloves in my car at all times. And one area we often forget to clean is our car keys. Now the last way to prevent bacteria is at the gas pump. When you're getting gas, you can use a glove to touch the nozzle or clean your hands after you're finished. Some gas stations have little baggies or towels that you can use so you don't even have to touch the nozzle. And that's the best. Now another place you need to avoid touching is the button you push to select the grade of gas that you wanna put into your car. That's even grosser than the handle. So what I learned from another YouTuber is this awesome tip. Use the handle of the gas pump to push the button to select the grade of gas that you want. So I hope you found this video helpful in your effort to minimize the spread of this virus and for just keeping your car less germy and virusy, if that's a word. Now we all need to educate ourselves on guidelines because things change as we get more research and learn. So everyone, I hope that you enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure that you give it a thumbs up. If you wanna to continue to learn more about cleaning tips, tricks, and techniques, make sure you hit the subscribe button and that bell so you won't miss any of our future videos. Thanks for being here with me. I hope that you're well. And in the next video, I'll link to my Dupre Neat Steam Cleaner review. Diana and I like to go low or no chemical when we can. We'll put a link to that now and we'll see you in that video.